Welcome to the Cosm Full Moon Ceremony. This August full moon is the 233rd consecutive full moon celebration at Cosm, an unbroken chain since January full moon in 2003. At that event, a dozen or so friends prayed and sang and recited and played music in our Brooklyn home to call in the vision of building with us a sacred space, a chapel of sacred mirrors that would honor personal contact with the divine. We send our love and friendship to all who have participated in the 233 full moons and a special welcome to those joining COSM for the first time today. To shed light on our intention for this full moon, we might use as an oracle the number 233. I think of an oracle as a wise answer interpreted from a divine inner voice, like when we consult astrology, tarot, or the I Ching. The number 233 adds up to eight, in that two plus three plus three equals eight. Eight is a symbol of infinity and the flow of energy free from obstacles. The number eight in many cultures is related to material wealth, money, and success in business. Because number eight represents pleasure, the dark side of this figure can also be associated with excess and vice. How might number eight figure into this current full moon moment for you? In the major arcana of the tarot, the eighth card is justice, associated with equity and rightness, a sign that the fairest decision will be made. On Alex's map of the Cosm Green Goddess, Entheon is located directly on the Justice Node of the Tree of Life. Does the Justice card play a part in your current life? Now, Alex, Tell us why we celebrate the full moon and talk to us about tonight's theme, community. Thank you, Allison. The full moon is the high tide of the spirit. A luminous celestial friend to everyone, the moon resonates with the roundness of our souls. Plato thought that the soul was spherical because it's the most perfect shape to represent wholeness and oneness. The full moon is actually a reflecting surface mirroring the greater light of the sun, just as each of us is a sacred mirror reflecting the greater light of God. The disk of the moon miraculously appears to be the same size as the disk of the sun. In ancient times, sun and moon were regarded as the eyes of the gods. The moon became associated with the floating eye of the Egyptian god Horus, which he lost in battle, but it was gradually restored by the magician deity Thoth. The waxing and waning moon become theophanies, appearances of the gods in that mythic story. In the Hindu tradition, Shiva wears a crescent moon in his topknot an interesting legend is associated with the moon and Shiva. The moon god Chandra married 27 daughters of powerful King Daksha and favored one. Cursed for insulting the other daughters, the moon began to lose its shine. Chandra offered prayers to Lord Shiva, who was pleased by his devotion. But since the curse of Daksha had already shown its effects, Lord Shiva 
couldn't revoke it entirely. The power to regain Chandra's form was gradually restored through blessings by Shiva, who wore the moon in his topknot as a remembrance of his saving the moon from entirely disappearing. Shiva is associated with the most holy mountain, Mount Kailash, in the Himalayas, which is the source of the great Ganges River, around which grow ganja, an herb also associated with Shiva worship. Before we smoke cannabis, we offer this blessing. Jai Shiva Shankara, Hari Hari Ganja. Shiva is the lord of the dance of creation and destruction. Gestures of the Nataraj Shiva figure represent God's five activities. Divine creation, symbolized by the drum. Cobra armed fear not mudra of divine protection. Divine destruction by fire. Divine embodiment represented by the foot suppressing the dwarf of ignorance and ego and the foot held aloft, symbolizing liberation in divine release. Natraj brings God and the dance of life, death, and transcendence into one icon. For many of us, we feel the divine flow of energy within when we dance, moving joyously, often with community. Sufi dervish dancers perform the Sama ceremony, a form of worship that blurs the line between prayer, dance, meditation, and trance. The ritual was founded 700 years ago by followers of the Sufi poet Rumi. The right hand is raised to heaven, receiving God's blessings, and then offered to the earth by the left hand as they float spinning between worlds, releasing the ego, and entering transcendence. Dance, one of the oldest ecstatic ceremonies pre-COVID, was central to all Cosm Full Moon gatherings. For years, month after month, DJs rock Cosm's dance floor. Music festivals around the world have kept ecstatic dance a central and evolving art form around the world for millennia. Dance has been a subject of painters. There are dancers painted on rocks in India dating back to 9,000 BC. Naked female temple dancers can be seen painted on the walls of the Egyptian tomb of King Nebamun from 1350 BC. Ancient Greek paintings of the dance found on pottery offer a glimpse into the joyful myths and customs of satyrs and lovers. Some of the most memorable portrayals of community are shown through dance. This 1566 painting, Wedding Dance by Peter Bruegel, depicts 125 peasant wedding guests in full ribald revelry of the Renaissance period. Brides wore black and men wore cod pieces. Dancing was disapproved of by village authorities and the church, so the painting can be seen both as an affirmation of eros that crosses the line of propriety or a critique of the peasant class of the times. The same mood of comic excess can be seen in Toulouse-Lautrec's paintings from 1890. Marcel Lender dancing the bolero and at the Moulin Rouge, the dance. Personalities light up the dance floor and Lautrec's caricature-like treatment emphasize their glorious moves. To take a different look at community, Edvard Munch, in his ironically titled Dance of Life, from 1899 seems like a meditation on boredom 
lust and alienation. Then, in 1900, along comes Picasso to Paris Café Life at age 19 when he made the dance painting La Moulin de la Galette, where we sense the nightlife receding into fashionable anonymity. In 1925, he painted three dancers, a cubist complex of sharp forms. Picasso revisited the theme of dance in many drawings and paintings throughout his career. A central work of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City is Dance, one of the most famous paintings of the 20th century by Henri Matisse. In a dynamic silhouette of a circle dance, Matisse abstracts the essentialized forms of figures. The more simplified the figures become, the more universal is the dance motif. No longer portraying a personality or fashionable scene, the uplifting energy and colors evoke a bond that unites the figures with strong emotions of joy. Currently, Allison and I are continuing our ongoing collaboration of a painting called Star Dancers. We've been developing the 32 foot by 8 foot canvas mural at dance gatherings in numerous locations around the world. Initiated near Sao Paulo, Brazil at the Tribe Festival in 2007, we first painted a marathon session for 20 hours surrounded and energetically supported by a sea of 30,000 continuously dancing people. We also painted star dancers in Williamsburg, Brooklyn for a vice party. And for the last five years, we've been at Burning Man. Last four, hosted by the Foam Dome. For five hours a day in front of hundreds of naked dancing people, we translated the ecstatic scene directly into the painting. The energy captured in the painting points to the universal light in each of us. We're stardust, beings of light woven together in spirit. Cosm has always been a community that meets and dances on the full moon to empower each other's creative lives and to pray for an enduring sanctuary of visionary art with a place for the sacred mirrors. COSM stands for Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. The sacred mirrors are now installed in Entheon thanks to a community of visionary friends. And thank you, Great Spirit, and infinite gratitude to everyone listening and everyone who has helped temple building get this far. Allison and I pray that we will soon dance again with many friends at Cosm and pray together in Entheon. Infinite spirit of love and life, bless each of us hearing these words today with physical health, emotional balance, mental clarity, devotional strength, and divine wisdom. Bless us all with inspiration and motivation to make things better. May we come into deeper relationship with you, creative spirit, the unifying presence of our sacred community. Welcome, friends. So glad you could make it. Tonight, we celebrate community and the high tide of the spirit. The agenda for the evening includes visuals, music, and wisdom, and poetry, thanks to creative friends from the visionary art movement. So let's jump in. Enjoy this visual odyssey titled Volans by digital animator Morat Saigener.
Thank you, Marat Saiganer, for that digital dreamscape. As always, you can learn more about Marat and all of this month's performers by checking out the links below. Kyle Bent is up next, ready to spit some bars and rhythmically elevate our consciousness. Activate your senses with his music video titled The Higher Power. Like this, let me get it like that. Lost yeah. my grip, I'ma get it right back. Been gone yeah. for a minute, trying to strip my craft. But it set the bar high, like I should have run track. So yeah. much drive, still with the bus pass. See, on homie in the ride, and he always rushed past. Ain't that I couldn't buy, always had enough cash. I was aiming for the sky with a buy launch pad. Let me get it like. Let me get it like this. I get on the mic and I swear I'm Tyson. Wait, every push line, then my baby right in. Hit your ear, drums hard, like native tribes did. I got the whole credit at the show, asking for more, cause they know the flow, so enticing. And I'ma give it to him, cause you know that life can't go missing any second. Don't you let your eyes blink on? Uh, I've been tripping off knowledge, third eye expanding my noggin. I can see clearly through all of the nonsense. Be cautious, they try to keep everyone boxed. And we lost in the darkness, we're deep in the odyssey. There's still a spark in that light, that's like conscious. The purest of content pouring into your mental process. When I spit that thing at the concert, I got it like this. Let me get it like that. Yeah. Heard of y'all wanna be where I'm at. Yeah. Heard of y'all wanna step in my shoes. They don't know that I've been working like a beer on crack. Banging out records even when they say no. Now they calling it dope. We should pop it past that. Back when the rap track only got me left at. Now I'm changing up the wave, so you better catch that. Let's see her. I know they see me moving. I know. The higher power, open your mind up, expand your perception. The answers within society's left out, go answer your questions. They fill us with nonsense, kill us with dollars, dull in our senses. Strip us of knowledge, replace them with college, so much expenses. But then again, who is they? It's only us. End of the day, you see, we all the same. We all are one. We always try to go and separate. But the jig is up, I think the people realize it's fake We waking up, what is fate? We create, with every step we take Conscious decision created by thoughts we invented Tomorrow is yesterday, really no difference The point is to make a difference every minute All we have is now, so make the seconds count while you living There's no restarting this adventure, go and get the life you envision You don't need no approval, everyone wanna tell you But they ain't gonna do it for you They just are scared of failure, but success ain't just handed to you there's always some room for error, but don't ever stop pursuing. Just keep doing what you're doing. What don't kill you gon' make you stronger. Just remember to keep on moving. Remember you're the director to this movie. Let me get it like however I want. I got it like this. I live without fear. Death is right there. Still I don't care. Life is just bliss. Every second is an opportunity. I'm blessed. And I ain't trying to lose it doing something stupid. Mess around, get me arrested. So I just follow spirit. That's my intuition. Do that, you'll get where you're headed. And to them status quo, old folks, I can't live the life you expect to order. Let me get it, I know that you feel it.
Go and get the life you envision. Thank you, Kyle Bent, for the reminder. Now that our imagination is in full throttle, let's welcome permaculture expert, Dr. Delvin Sulkinson. Today, he teaches us about the art of creative collaboration and turning spaces into places. Visionary ecologist and co-creator of permaculture, Bill Mollison wrote, to be a complete person, we must travel many paths. And to truly own anything, we must first give it all away. This is not a riddle. Only those who share their multiple and varied skills, true friendships, and a sense of community and knowledge of the earth know they are safe wherever they go. Celebrating the miracles that connect our artful community all over the earth. Grateful for this conscious network of creatives working together to support and uplift each other. Where are you beaming in from today? Share your location in the comments. Art collaborations build community. Functional art in public spaces brings benefit and cultivates connections. Inspired by the work of my beloved teacher, Mark Lakeman, who helped initiate city repair and the placemaking movement in Portland, Oregon. Mark says, the current planetary crisis is the single most unifying and exciting potential for humanity as well as our greatest creative challenge to evolve. Consider this a visionary permaculture design practice, an opportunity to ponder creative and functional objects you could collaborate to create for a community space near where you live. Intersection repair is the citizen-led transformation of a street intersection into a public square. It turns spaces used only for transportation into places for people to gather and build relationships, creating beauty and bringing people together activates local arts and culture, deepening community resilience. Collaborative mandala painting can also be done in cul-de-sacs, driveways, even on sidewalks with water-based paints. Imagine the impact of a free box of gifts from the garden, homemade crafts, or artworks put out by the street. A freebrary offering the opportunity to take a book or leave a book. A give a poem, get a poem mailbox. Unconventional seating to take a break, enjoy a view, journal, make art, and say hello to passersby. Community gardens, plantings, and pocket parks, even in small areas around streets or public spaces, bring beauty and nature connection. Where is the nearest community garden to where you live? Write its name or location in the comments. Pop-up block parties, community art jams, even something as simple as a sidewalk chalk dispensary can turn a stretch of sidewalk into an ever-changing work of community art and connection. Here at COSM, the grounds are being prepared for reopening the Cosm Nature Sanctuary is a woodland home to a beautiful ecological community of creatures. A wisdom trail winds through the property, punctuated with outdoor sculpture, inspiring creative thought and conversation. A reflecting pond provides space for contemplation. A spiral labyrinth supports intention setting, an opportunity to muse on the past vision the future, or anchor firmly in the present moment. Walking the land offers meetings with people, plants, animals, mushrooms, and the forces of nature. Stretch together into the future. Dream into ways you could collaborate with community to bring functional art to your neighborhood. Everyone is a designer and artist in their own way capable of constructive contributions through community participation. What will your next gift of service to the community be? 
close with a quote from Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Join with the earth and each other to bring new life to the land, to restore the waters, to refresh the air, to renew the forests, to care for the plants, to protect the creatures, to celebrate the seas, to rejoice in the sunlight, to sing the song of the stars, to recall our destiny, to renew our spirits, to reinvigorate our bodies, to recreate the human community, to promote justice and peace, to love our children and love one another, to join together as many and diverse expressions of one loving mystery for the healing of the earth and the renewal of all life. Have an artful full moon, everyone. Much appreciation, Dr. Delvin Sulkinson, permaculture genius and expert educator. Free open source learning and teaching tools are available now when you visit visionarypermaculture.com. Let's carry on. Celebrating the Pulse of Life music group Udos presents their official music video titled Beat the Drum Harder.
Thank you, Hudos. May we all recalibrate to a deeper rhythm. Time to hand it over to Alison Gray for this month's Parsha Poetry. Community is a social bond. You can feel it and hear it. The word community comes from the Latin for public spirit. Members of a group with something in common, identity or norms, be they pauper or Brahmin. Religion or values or social institutions may offer group resonance and livable solutions. Stakeholders that share a sense of place, a neighborhood of homes, or a virtual space. The family is our first real community. It's where we learn harmony and observe disunity. Enduring relations can transcend genetic ties. There are global communities that follow the wise. Communities often share their resources. With similar preferences, we all can join forces the community of my ancestors revere the Torah, a scroll recounting history of a long ago era, of a community's struggle, their historic past, the first self-governing democracy ever to last. Still hand-scribed by sofers to this very day, 3,500 years the scroll's been written this way. In a story of community, starting with creation, the history of Moses leading a free nation. More than 670,000 male slaves, their families and livestock into freedom were saved. Across the Red Sea with Moses they fled to the base of Mount Sinai with their unleavened bread. Settling a new nation born this large, meant leadership selection. Who'd be in charge? Leaders for each thousand, each hundred, each fifty. Trusted representatives must be empowered swiftly. Many problems arose among the people. Laws were established to keep twelve tribes peaceful. In Kitaitzel, the Torah portion of the week, 74 laws answer the solutions they seek. Twelve tribes must live in harmony to survive. Laws of the Torah helped our ancestors thrive. And Kitaitzel in Hebrew means when you go out. Laws of war and peace time is what it's all about. When against your enemies to war you go, Ethical conduct is the righteousness you show. How should captive women be treated after war? Compassion for their loss is what is called for. Laws about burial and dignity of the dead, health and safety for the living is at the core of this thread. Punishment for a wayward and rebellious son is stoning don't want that? Then stay private and stop your jawboning. Inheritance laws concerned the ancients as they do today. Torah included women's rights when no man stood in the way. Infidelity, adultery, seduction, and rape carried penalties that no one could righteously escape. Return a lost object Give the poor charity, guard rooftop safety, these need no more clarity. Help for any person in trouble or need applies also to animals. While plowing, let them feed. Help a burdened animal and you will be blessed. On Sabbath day, working beasts must take a rest. Limit your disputes to human enemies to nature and animals, no malicious tendencies. Plow your field with beasts that are similarly sized. 
suffering an ox and donkey pair is strongly ill-advised. Fish and slaughter only what you need. Taking the chick and the mother is a heinous deed. Respect for all life is godly. For the righteous, it's the way. Where do you draw the line with creatures you encounter every day? Laws can bring a diverse community together, settling agreements fairly for all people in all weather. For support and belonging, community connects us, unites us, raises our consciousness and protects us. Acceptance from spiritual kin while seeking our identity can reveal our true purpose and offer greater serenity. A spiritual community values the call to find your very soul. They'd comfort you with love you trust and authentically console. Whichever path your spirit finds to follow in your life, one core value can help you to avoid conflict and strife. Be you atheist, Buddhist, Hindu, Christian, Muslim, or Jew, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Throughout the month, friends from around the world have sent in their personal blessings and declarations to be acknowledged and collectively sent by fire to the heavens. Thank you to everyone who sent in blessings and declarations this past month. And here are some examples. Alexa from Romania shares this blessing. May the power of the moon help me make the right decisions in relationships. Zumi from Australia sends a declaration. I am sovereign. I am free. Born to express creatively. Elaine from Washington sends a blessing. May our time on earth be spent in service, service to others, service to our communities and families, and service to the divine. And may all of our gifts of service be done with love. And Aaron from Wisconsin sends a blessing, light, Love and laughter to all on their future endeavors. Take the first step and the universe will carry you the rest of the way. You got this. So we have all of these wonderful blessings and declarations. Alex is going to take it to the fire. And you can write your blessings and declarations right now and share them with us in the comments. May all of these blessings and declarations be realized. Tonight, we may have loved ones, maybe even ourselves, who might be suffering distress in body or mind. At Cosm Full Moon, we turn inside and hold in our heart those who might benefit from a healing prayer. To strengthen this blessing, you can speak the name of your loved one into your space as we pray. Great Spirit, thank you for blessing us with this day and for our precious body and soul. We feel the light of Spirit shining in our hearts. And as we breathe, a glow expands to surround us 
like a luminous sphere. The brightness in our hearts magnifies as we join together in a gleaming web with countless others around the world, a luminous net of beings. From the superabundance of our combined energy field, we envision rays of healing light surrounding and protecting our friends and family who are suffering. May the light shine on all who need healing. May peace and harmony reign across the earth. May the water, air, fire, and earth be purified and the web of life be strong and resilient. Many of us may have lost family and friends in the recent past. Condolences to all who are grieving. Remembering the brevity of life, we appreciate the beauty of each precious day Almighty Spirit, we remember the souls of beloved ones who have passed away. Remembering them in our heart, they remain close. Recall their names to evoke their memory as we reflect together. May their memory be a blessing. And when I turned to face grief, I saw that it was just love in a heavy coat, Shannon Berry, sending virtual hugs and abundant prayers of healing to you and your loved ones. May you continue to courageously adventure through life in ways that best support your highest potential. What goals are in motion for the month ahead? In Cause of News, the hand-painted secret writing wall in Entheon is complete. Allison ritually painted all 1,026 liquid gold letters to cover her gallery's six by nine foot freestanding wall. Installations of other galleries plus finishing carpentry is underway. Final inspections are being scheduled. The Wisdom Trail is getting a mild facelift. Improvements focus on widening the trail for side-by-side -side walking, refreshing the log-lined path, removing potentially dangerous limbs, mulch ground cover, and a hardy stick fence to rim the perimeter. A wisdom trail in the natural woods takes annual care. Hail to the groundsmen. Alex and Allison will be featured in an upcoming exhibition at Mesa Art Center in Arizona, opening September 10th. Over 45 works of art, some rarely or never before seen, will be on view. The great Amanda Sage, esteemed board member of COSM, will also have a solo gallery, and there will be a group exhibition of many accomplished contemporary visionary artists. This is surely one of the most comprehensive and representative showings of visionary art in recent years, so go check it out. The exhibition ends on January 23rd, 2022. Boundless gratitude to all who have been by COSM's side during this era of transformation. COSM is made possible thanks to the dedication of so many friends. So with that said, have the most wonderful full moon and we'll see you next time. Back to you, Alex and Allison. Dedication to love. From the core of our hearts, we dedicate ourselves to the complete and full expression of love in all our activities and in all our relationships. Love is the soul's medicine, a refuge in our hearts, protecting us from utter despair. Finding compassion in the eyes of the beloved and the stranger gives us the courage to endure. May love sensitize us with care and wisdom. May love help heal the sickness and wounds of life. 
May love enable us to forgive and accept ourselves. May love enable us to forgive and accept each other. May love help us overcome our cruelty and bitterness, our greed and jealousy, our ignorance and delusion. May love rule our hearts and minds, directing us to reach out, doing our best to benefit others, to heal suffering, to give gifts, to create beauty in the infinite network that is our world. A heart of loving kindness pours creative grace into the world to alleviate pain and mend the heart net. To the healing art of love, we dedicate ourselves. And may any merit generated by this ceremony be offered to the benefit and liberation of all beings. Happy, Happy Full Moon! moon.